Hey, what's going on folks? Glutch here. Welcome in. Today we've got a brand new game-changing mod to talk about. This is huge in my book. This is something that's been on my wish list for more than a while. Can't wait to tell you guys about this. Let's dive in. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I am super excited about this mod, guys. If it's your first time in here to the channel, welcome in, of course. Make sure you guys join us for one of our roleplay series, or maybe even one of our live streams where we really push the boundaries of what Farming Simulator 22 can do. And guys, this mod, this speaking of pushing the boundaries, this mod pushes the boundaries. Now, guys, we've all had a chance, I'm sure, to at least look at the landscaping tool that comes with Farming Simulator 22. This was first introduced in Farming Simulator 19, but like I said, you have to go into a menu, and from here, well, you're allowed to sculpt terrain. You can raise terrain up, you can lower terrain back down, you can smooth it back out, flatten and smooth, and then you can make ramps as well. So there is quite a few things you can do here. Of course, you can also go in and paint if you need to change some colorings on some things. You can do that all from this tool. But I've always wanted to be able to do it in equipment. Why can't we just do it with a wheel loader, for example? Well, you guys know that typically, well, nothing really happens, right? You're gonna put your bucket down, and yeah, it just kind of skirts over the ground. You can pick up, of course, well, your straw, your your various grain, whatever else you drop in a drop on the ground, but you can't really dig into the ground. Well, guys, that's all going to change. With the brand new Terra Farm mod, now if you have that enabled in your, your mod folder, bring up your F1 menu, you're going to see we have a whole slew of other options now. You can see by hitting the Y button, I'm going to enable it. And underneath that, you can see we can see uh, there's a menu system. We can also disable it. Of course, you can toggle the mode. There's a couple different things we can do with this, guys. And it's absolutely amazing as far as I am concerned. So right now, we're lowering ground, and the discharge mode is on normal. So what that means is if I dig into the ground, it's going to lower. And the discharge mode, that's just going to be stone. So you're going to watch as I jump in. It's going to dig down, and it's going to put stone into my bucket. So I now have stone in here as well. You can see it's painted the ground as well. So that's all configurable. Everything we've just done there is completely configurable. Oh, I don't own the land here. Hang on a sec. There we go. Fix that problem. Drop that in. There we go. So this mod will work as well with all base game equipment that, well, can dig. But there's a couple other settings we need to go over. Like I said, this is just absolutely amazing that we can just do this now, guys. So there we go. We've lowered down the terrain. Now let's, we can disable that. Let's uh, see if we can mess with some of the settings here. Let's toggle our modes. So we can flatten ground now. Let's see if we can flatten this back on out by just pouring this down. That's not going to do it, of course, because we're still in a discharge mode. Let me pick this back on up. And we'll change this down to... There we go. So now we dig in to flatten things out. It's a little bit strange. I, I, I struggle with trying to figure out what some of them are sometimes. But like I said, everything does seem to work. We can drop this back in. in and then let's see if we can just flatten this out some more here. So... Like I said, it's it's not 100%. I think it's still a little bit easier to use the actual tool, personally. But you can actually do this. Now, let's go take a look at the menu quickly as well. By hitting the Z button on your keyboard, you're going to bring up the Terraform settings. You have Enable. You can debug mode. I have all these set to off. This will just give you some other visual cues on what's going on. Now, the fill type, which is really interesting. So this is when you're on normal mode, what you're going to fill in your bucket. It defaults to stone, which is what most of us are probably going to want. But you can change that to dirt as well. There is talk of possibly changing this to other options, depending on when map fruit types become available. So we may see more, more of this type as uh, time goes on. Uh, disable terrain paint. You can, tr you can paint or not paint, depending on what's going on. Uh, also, you have your paint layer, so you can choose what paint layer is painted when you dig. So typically rock is what you're going to have. But you can change that to anything you want, guys. There's all different settings, even grass. All the paintable settings that are available on the map will show up in here. So you can paint whatever you want when you dig down. And then there's the discharge paint layer as well. So you saw that we were getting the, the dirt on top as we were doing the, the discharging. It'll change. So you can either have the discharge as well as the dig down or the input. It changes depending on which one you're going to be using. So you saw that we had uh, the, the, the concrete's coming out or the rock is coming out when we dig down, when we're, when we're leveling right now. And then when I'm discharging, it's the dirt. So there's a couple different options there. So that's a lot to go over, I understand, but there's a, quite a few things. You can do everything you can do with a terraforming tool in the menu you can do with a piece of equipment. That's all you need to know, guys. Just go through your settings, open up the control menu, F1, bring up your controls, and there you go. Now, I don't need to even mention this, I'm sure, but this is a PC, Mac only mod. This is not available for console. So how do you get this mod? It's a little bit different, guys. This mod is off GitHub. 
And just so you know, it is a little bit different to install. You can't just simply download install like you do on most of the third party sites. So go down to the link below in the description to be able to download it there. You'll want to get the code and download the zip. That's what you're going to need. You're going to click on that and obviously the file is going to download. Now, once you have the file open, you'll need a, a rare or a zip folder extractor such as, well, WinRare I'm using right now. You'll need to open the file and take this folder and put it up maybe on your desktop, someplace where you can easily find it. So I'm just going to put this over on my desktop. So once you have the folder on your desktop, you're going to open that thing up. You're going to find all the files you need right there. And you're just going to need to pack these back up into a zip. Let's see if I can take all these, right click, go down to add to archive, boom, make sure that's back on my desktop, make sure that's a zip file, hit OK, and there we go. From here, this is your mod guys, that's the file right there. Take this folder or this file and put it in your mod folder. Now, just note that I didn't rename this and there's a dash in there, that's going to cause you some problems. So you're going to have to go in and rename this, get rid of that dash so it says farm main, put an underscore in there. And you'll be good there. Uh, if it's the dash, it won't be recognized as a, as a mod folder in your file. So make sure you change that out. Hopefully that's clear as mud. This was recorded awfully early in the morning when I found all this stuff out. So uh, make sure you guys go check that out. Of course, we're going to have a video coming out later on with us messing around with this some more. So hopefully you guys can go watch that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Of course, make sure you guys check out well, later on the video today, of course. And of course, any live streams or any uh, role play stuff we got going on. This is going to make our lives pretty interesting as far as that stuff goes can't wait to mess with this thanks again for watching guys make sure you guys subscribe hit the like button on the way out and i'll catch you next time this is clutch over and out